en het vooruitzicht van mijn afstand van de troon wil ik mij graag tot u richten. Ten tijde van een schimmelinfectie zijn spetterpoep en instinctmoeds ongewenst, maar onvermijdelijk. Spet, 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 spetterpoep, poep, poep. Een schimmelinfectie, ongewenst, spet, 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 spetterpoep, poep, poep. Een schimmelinfectie, ongewenst, spet, 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 spetterpoep, poep, poep. Een schimmelinfectie, ongewenst, spet, 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 spetterpoep, poep, poep. Geouwe hoer. Yay. Yay. It's that time again for for this show. Yes. Um, and uh, for Drag Race Holland, Ge'ouwe Hoort. And, um, and um, I'm uh, Madge Weinstein with Fashion Slurry. How's everything hi, going? Hi. I'm doing okay. I just got a very expensive gift that is now installing. Oh, it was a gift? So, well, to myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And what did you get yourself? An iPhone 12 Pro. Oh, that's long. 12 is 12 is a, a big size. Yeah, it is big. That's what I don't like. I do like that it's more like the 5 because I like the the design of the 5. And yeah. I'm hoping, but I haven't yet tried, uh, that the camera is much better. But I came from a 7, so it's quite an upgrade. That is. Which one did you get? The Pro? The Pro? Yes. Of oh, course. Yeah. 256. Mm. So big. All right. You ready mm-hmm. to start this show? So we're going to have Sutter Jean, but she's going to come after this. So we got to get her done. So let's just plow yes. through this shit. You ready? You ready let's go. go. Okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let me start over because I want people to do a countdown at home. Okay, so I'm going to start the world of one dear uh, thingamajig from the beginning in three, two, one, go. Remember, if you're epileptic, don't watch the, there's a strobe effect. We're all born naked, and the rest is... Oh, there's Setter Jean. If you cannot do yourself, do somebody else. Oh, rude. Is this a bit new I don't fucking give a shit, because I like to take it up the ass. That's right. That was so epic, his Joe Exotic. That was ridiculous. That's, uh, that uh, Chelsea boy didn't win. Mm-hmm. I've never heard of the Snatch Game winner not winning the whole deal. That's crazy. Yeah, but they apparently take both the Maxi Challenge and the Runaway into consideration. Well, that's fine, but even so... I still yeah. think these are the ones. True, true. Yeah. Zorg ervoor dat je volgende week niet but weer in de lipsing battle komt. That's just the way it is, right? Uh-uh. Let me turn on my subtitles. Oh, Lieve Jean, wat een feest. Ik voel me hartstikke zelfverzekerd, omdat ik de bitch naar huis heb gestuurd. The bitch. Sorry, oh, why, why did... Um, why did Setter Jean lose that sh- the lip-sync, do you think? I don't know. Well, she wasn't that energized. Maybe she already felt let down, but we can ask her later. Yeah, I want to ask. I'm just curious, because I have my own theories, but I want to know what okay. the real reason I'm starting to like Janie more. Yes, I'm starting to like Janie more. I, I, I like her, but... <laughs> you know, of it's course. not that I disliked her, but I couldn't quite get a grasp of who she is. Right. I, I feel like she's very real. You know, mm-hmm. I think that's just her personality, like you were saying earlier. Because I thought she was kind of bitchy in the beginning. But I think now she's its just she's a strong personality and she kind of knows who she is. Mm-hmm. And plus, plus having, maybe a wall from being attacked when she was young. Exactly. And now that we understand that, it helps put the puzzle together of who it she does. is. Who Definitely. She is. Oh, I'm so excited for this episode because the preview was so intriguing with it. Mm-hmm. There was an old person in there. I mean, I can say yeah. old because I'm old. <laughs> I 
But I think that person was older, though, Madge. Older than me? I think so. Mm. I'm not sure, but I think so. We'll find out. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like they're keeping Abby in because she's gorgeous. I have to say it. Who's the greatest she is gorgeous. And in the end, it'll be just one. Oh, this. But it takes oh. two. You know, have a little fun. I listen to myself on this show after we do it, and I realize I'm. I was too cunty last week, fashion. I know this. I know this comes. You were too cunty. Too cunty. Oh, okay. I was so cunty, especially about RuPaul. So I'm trying. I'm going to be less cunty today. That's my new. Okay. Re- that's my Jewish New Year's resolution. Okay. So less cunty match. Please don't write it down. What? Please don't write that down. I don't want to have to stick to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I wanted to say I like the cunty Ru though. Oh, can I tell you a secret? I have to be Dutch. Okay. Ik heb een. Uh, Ik heb snoepjes. Oh. Uh, maar ik mag niet mijn uh, vriend, vriendin ja. niet vriendin. mag mee. Ik kan niet. Je wil ze niet delen? You can say it. I can't. Ik kan niet eten. Ik, ik kan, ik, ik kan niet uh, snoepjes eten, maar mijn vriendin ja. no me gusta. En jullie hebben daar een. Die vindt het niet leuk. Ik, ik, uh, uh, zij vinden mij uh, te dik. Something to hold on to, though. Well, yeah. And don't your boobs get bigger when you get a little fuller? I don't mind being fat. You know, I I gave up on being thin long ago. I'm a I'm a larger gal, and I'm fine with that. But sometimes other people don't feel the same way. I don't know what to tell you. I think it's more a health and issue. Anders, als je op een date well, that's the, the yeah. Is, mm-hmm. als die anyway, klaar is met je. so what's happening in this show Save that we're not talking about? <laughs> Save the date. So they're going on a blind date. Yeah. And they have to do something with a t-shirt. Tutjes. 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 And Nick Marijnissen. And he apparently was a finalist on The Bachelor, and I don't know who he is. I don't either, but he's kind of hot in a very athletic, kind of dumb jock kind of way, right? Mm, uh, mm. You don't think so? He's not my type. <laughs> yeah. From what I see right now, maybe he's lovely, but no. Yeah, not for you. <laughs> not for me. Well, as a lesbian, I, I would sit on his face. <laughs> that, that's not really hard to do, you know what I mean? Because to sit, you can yeah. read the, you can read the paper and sit on his face. Yeah, now, exactly. I don't, and you don't have to yeah. look at who is under your body. Right, I could just pretend it's Rosie O'Donnell or um, or whatever that. What's the Rotterdam lady uh, from? Mama Betty Bart? No. No, the Mama Queen. Uh, Rihanna van Dorst. Yeah, I'll pretend it's her. I like her nose. Oh. I'd like her big nose up my, you know, hoo ha. <laughs> so, so what? I don't understand what Chelsea Boy is doing here. It looks like he still has the the mustache makeup on, but he did the mustache last week. Am I missing something? Uh, I guess she she thinks um, that's gonna be uh, a trick. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, so she's doing it again, basically. <laughs> yeah, I just saw. So he's doing the the mustache again. Yeah. It's kind of I don't. It's a different mustache, though, right? This is more drawn on. Janie looks very. Uh, she looks like a whore, which is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Mama Mama Queen looks amazing with those chichis and shake uh, oh my god Abby looks exactly like Shea kool oh yeah did you notice that? she looks exactly like Shea kool and of course Envy looks fishy fishy as hell and slutty as hell I don't understand what they, they translated their dessert as sense Amelia isn't that a kind of marijuana I don't know See, 
We have a problem here with Chelsea Boy. She's totally overacting, and she's using the same costume as last week. I don't understand why. Oh my God, that mouth! And I swear that's Shakule. <laughs> Oh. Well, why is uh, Jack, uh, Janie, uh, Janie uh, yeah. wearing uh, ice skating? <laughs> <laughs> is that what that is? It looks like it. Maybe she likes it's to It's cute, it's, it's cute, cute, but... Yeah, I hield well from banana. Oh, I thought I See, he not, he's not traditionally handsome, but he looks like he would. Oh, he's not ugly. No, he looks like he would have a large penis. <laughs> he might have. Can but he's tall, though. Isn't it tall and... I don't know. The, my, well, there's a lot of rules. There's, it doesn't really... There's not one thing. Yeah. And we can uh, now say that Envy likes to sit wow. down on people. She loves it. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> I love that about her, too. Who are these extras? Where do they get these extras? Uh, maybe they're normally behind the camera? I don't know. Uh, but they're not even looking. Like, shouldn't If that happened to me, I'd be like, what's going on there? They're just acting like nothing's wrong. Aw, cheeky. And Fred. Yeah. Ja. Look at her tits. <laughs> Mama Queen's nipple was hanging out. Oh, she moved it. So that's an edit. Anus? He said anus. Did he? Well, yeah. But I think he meant anus. You know what I mean? Yay, Mama Queen wins! Yay. What happened to her face? Is that from the dessert? Yeah, did she have have chocolate something maybe brownies it looks like she has some sort of a psoriasis <laughs> i think it's the dessert though look at look at her yeah. boobs her boobs were attacked i think they must have edited that out i can't get over how much uh, what's her face looks like Abby looks Abby. like Shea Coulee. Yeah. She clearly copied the look. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but that's... Inspired by. Inspired by. Remember that look? You know what that look I'm talking about. I don't know if it's kind of mm-hmm. like that movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. This is, this oh, I is, always love this. Mama Peru reminds me of my mother-in-law, because I have a Peru mother-in-law, oh, really? too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She lives in Spain. There are worse places to live, I guess. <laughs> in Barcelona, yeah. Oh, Barcelona. Oh, I love Barcelona. San Falu del Obergat. It's where Shakira lives, or whatever that. What's that? It's the one that's married to the soccer player? I always get my Latina mixed up. Uh, uh, I think Shakira is... I don't know what, that well, stuff, though. One of them is dead. Not the one that got killed by her fan in the 90s. That was what? Shakira. <laughs> Remember, there was some Latina singer that got killed by her, her fan, and they made a movie, and it was played by J-Lo. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. What's Shakira. that name again? Uh, shit, it's on the tip of my tongue. Fuck it up. Oh, anyway. Whatever. Selena. Oh, yeah, Selena, yeah. Anyway, it's not her. It's the other. So I guess it is Shakira, then. Yeah. But she lives in the same city. Okay, so we have... Um, we have Janie's mother, who looks just like her. Yes. We've got Peru's mother. And then poor Ryan, in true lesbian form, klutzes in and drops something in her big entrance. <laughs> and they don't edit it out, which I love. <laughs> Oops. I dropped something. <laughs> so now you can see mm-hmm. what Mama really? Queen resembled last week. Yeah. So Ryan is a, a she's a, like a, a singer, obviously, but is she also yeah. a presenter? You know. Yeah. Well, she is a singer, but she does do a lot of uh, shows on TV as well. She's very good at it. Aside from dropping things. <laughs> Why is there a big spool of wire on the table? Do you see that? What did... I don't... Oh, on the table. Yeah. I don't know. There, look, there's a big... Spool. Messy. Very messy. It's like a huge... <laughs> like yeah. They forgot Extension to... Extension cord, yeah. Weird. Extension cord and a giant fan. <laughs> yeah. 
Hebben jullie trekken wat drinken? I was surprised that Envy's mom uh, is there though. Because she said she didn't have the best relationship when she came out of the closet. Yeah, but you know, those things change. Thank God. Now, this, is, this is really yeah. extremely uh, moving to me that the, her father is going to be yeah. made up. I've never seen that on Drag Race. I've seen mothers. Yes. Sisters. And brothers and sisters and yeah. friends. But a father, I mean, that's a, that's a, that's huge. Because it's very hard for a father to, let alone accept a gay son, but to uh, to endorse that son on 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 a TV show and then to do drag. I mean, this is this is a whole new level. What what this guy is doing by coming on this show? They are identical. Yeah. What, what his father's doing by coming on this show, it, I think really is so big. It, it will help. It's, it's monumental in what it will do for, the, for, for people, I think. How many, how many other fathers will be inspired by this? You know? Or how many other drag queens will be inspired that, to have hope that their fathers will accept that? I mean, this is why I like Drag Race, to be perfectly truthful. And what, what he said... Mm-hmm. Is that um, the, the dad said that they it isn't his choice uh, or it's hard on the parents that their kids uh, are in a oh my god Miss Abby in a life that isn't necessarily easy because uh, of how everybody uh, reacts to them. Sure, and I think that it's uh, that's for most parents, and that was my mother when I was younger and we talked about being either gay or straight or whatever uh, that she only wanted to be uh, want me, wanted me happy but also uh, that it might be rough if, if I would be uh, gay or whatever You're, and that yeah. that's the biggest worry so you mean your mother actually gave you options before you even sort of expressed your own sexuality or you weren't sure No, 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 I was 12 and she said, what, whatever your life choices are going to be or whoever you're, you will love, uh, we will definitely love you, uh, keep loving you. Uh, uh, we just hope, uh, or, or she explained that it might be rougher if you're not straight. That's amazing that your mother, mother uh, was that progressive. That's yeah, amazing. I'm uh, really happy with my mother. My mother is really open-minded and uh, progressive. Thank God. Yeah, my sister did that to her kids. You know, she gave them their options before they, ex- you know, expressed yeah. their own. And uh, also, oh shit. So <laughs> I was trying to silence my shit and then I, I fucked up. Sorry about that. Oh, wait, where were it was we? a little awkward too, though, because I was like 12 and she started about their hips and hips that's pretty and whatever. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, uh, I knew what it was, of course, yeah, but I was like, uh, I don't want to. But yeah. it, it's always awkward, probably. Where were we? Do you remember? I was gonna do, that. do you remember? Uh, oh, shit. I really don't. Know. Okay, I'm gonna start at 1604. Sorry, audience. 1604, three, two, one, go. Als ik dat durf. Het ga je voor de winst? Absolutely. Envy Peru. Rihanna. I envy you. Oh. Hallo, Rihanna. Met zo'n moeder. Ja. Zo'n Hallo. moeder. Hallo. Ben je zenuwachtig? Nee, hoor, helemaal niet. Ik voel me gewoon blij. Ja, yeah, um, but my sister did that with her kids. And, uh, uh, but she's, uh, you know, this is in the uh, 2000s. Mm-hmm. So it's becoming yeah. more acceptable. Thank God. But, Yeah. But for me, look at them. For me, yeah. it was like you're not gay, are you? And my mother would talk talk about you know people in the family like, oh, you know, so and so's son, he's strange. You know, and strange means gay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And does religion have anything to do with it too, or not really? Because in Jewish people are very liberal. It's still, I, yes, I think religion has to do with it, but in that way, that helps me as a Jewish person. Now, the mother, Mama Peru is very impressive here because she speaks Dutch. Right? Mm-hmm. That's impressive, right? Does she have a strong accent? I couldn't tell. She has a strong accent, but I love it. Yeah. 
I mean, that's hard. And I think to me that means she's a very smart person, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, because it's so easy to move to Amsterdam and speak English. So, to, to, to learn Dutch and force people to speak Dutch to you. Horrible language. Yeah. Not Apparently, bad. it's really tough to learn, too. So, not as bad as German. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But they say Dutch is the closest language to English. So. Oh, but yeah. when I try to speak German, I always do Dutch with a German accent. <laughs> most of the time, they understand. Understand me. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I do know German. I do know German. I wonder if, like, is, is Ryan being, like, groomed for a more permanent position on this show? Because normally they don't allow, allow guests to come in and just interview people, like, at this level, right? I, I, I don't know why why this is. He would have figured that Fred would have done this. Yeah. But maybe he was busy but i think she's she's doing a great job mm -hmm. i think she's great she's very she has a lot of empathy she's a lesbian and um i like the way she man spreads you know <laughs> she's good at that yeah. she's a man spreader she's from rotterdam right yeah Okay. Now wait, did we miss the part where oh, shit. We're talking so much but Did we miss the part where they get the prize Where Mama Queen wins a prize To a hotel in Rotterdam <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Oh, I forgot well, It's a good hotel though and they have good food Oh, that was so funny Hard drive, but <laughs> That's like winning well, a trip. Well, with the lockdown and stuff, I think that's the best option there is. I guess. <laughs> or one of the better. Because to me, that's like winning a trip to Peoria. Peoria is like an industrial city in the middle of Illinois. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Kind of. Well, and you, have, you don't necessarily love Rotterdam because of your... Uh, well, I, I got punched in the vagina there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I am punched in the vagina in Rotterdam. Yeah. So at least you're going to remember Rotterdam. <laughs> Not a positive uh, memory. I have a, I've, one of my best friends lives in Rotterdam. But he's currently quarantined because he has the COVID. But he's fine. Uh, okay. Does he still live in that apartment? Yeah. Oh, you know him. Oh. Yeah. yeah. We met up there. Oh, yeah. He's doing very well. He started his own business. Oh, nice. he <gasps> Look at that dad! Amazing. He's been practicing. Oh my god, those heels! He's been practicing. It, it seems like. Holy shit. Even for someone that is practiced on heels, that's tough, I think. Yeah, mama's been practicing. Maybe he's got some. Some, uh, you know, something else going on. I love those. And aren't they like see-through heels? Yeah, it's the, the stripper heels. He could put fish in there. He should could put like yeah. little goldfish. So that would be mean to the fish. Yeah, I've seen them with uh, plastic goldfish, though. Do you have any goldfish? A friend. What? Do you have any fish? No, I've got cats. <laughs> would the, the fish wouldn't. Fun. The cats would eat the fish. I think so. <laughs> I used to have a beta, a, a, a blue beta fish, and uh, my stupid babysitter, <clears throat> the fish babysitter, left the the cover off and it jumped out and died. <gasps> oh no! I was very upset with her. I'm sad. I'm good with it. Yeah. They're not expecting that. They're not expecting that, so I'm good with it. Before you, had. Yeah, um, Abby is so cute, but, yeah, the end. But also a little bitchy, though, like how she talks about the other contestants when she uh, lip syncs uh, mm -hmm. and wins. <laughs> she, gets, she gets away with a lot, let's just say. Mm -hmm. She gets away with a lot, and the makeup on Mama is amazing. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen a, I've never seen a drag race where the winner is so obvious. I, th I mean, I thought like Bianca Del Rio. Mm. You know, the whole season I knew she would win, but you, there were times when you thought, well, maybe not, because she didn't have that many wins. But here we have Envy going into this with three wins already. 
Ja, en de ja beeldig. Ja, yeah, it's just crazy. Ja, en dit is de eerste keer dat mijn top 3 is already fallen apart. Normally, uh, my Set, top 3 who is your yeah. makes top it the last four. I know Envy, Setter Jean, who is the other? Hey, Abby? Oh, hello. Uh, Mama Queen? Oh, well, yeah. And, uh, and uh, Chelsea Boy is in there too. Oh, okay. So it's a top four kind of. So it hasn't fallen apart. And who sits it by you with the Zenuwe? Oh, Setter Jean is already gone. All right, that's true. Boy, she's got quite a movement. She reminds me of like Valentina. She'll be, I would think she'll be the most, what do they call that award? For the one that, that was nice. Yeah, I think she'll get that, don't you? Who will be the congeniality? I think Setter Jean. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. I kind of need to keep an eye on it. Look at Fred. Yeah. She's wearing a cotton it's getting candy. Better and better and better. It makes me hungry. I would just want to eat her up. All that cotton candy. I love this look really, really, really. I do too. Oh, and the shoes. Nikki Plesha. I just love his, um, his presentation. I don't always know what he's saying, but just the way he says stuff is always connected to humor. Mm-hmm. And they said this one is a trans, right? Yeah, she's uh, the first transgender winner of Holland's Next Top Model. That's amazing. And she's stunning. She is. She's a singer? Oh, no. She did. She's just a model, right? I don't watch such stuff. I don't know. I guess models model, right? Yeah, uh, I guess so. Maybe she sings still. You know, and maybe she's a triple threat or whatever. Oh. A thruple? I would love her as a thruple. Do <laughs> you think she would have a thruple with me and my lesbian wife? Uh, bread or uh, Rihanna? I'll take any of them, even Ryan Van Durst with her man's bread. <laughs> see, okay, I don't like this look at all. It's just, I, I just see men in... Uh, well, the ass looks good, though. The ass? Oh damn, she's got nice bunny. But her belly is weird to me. It's like it's like her belly sticking out too much to me. It looks like yep. yeah. it just looks weird. <laughs> like an old man in golf pants weird. I don't know. <laughs> and of course we have this is, I love the way that I love the way they're paying homage to their Peruvian culture. I was waiting for that, you know. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah. The llamas. Well, alpacas, actually. The hair. It's all like mixing that traditional Peruvian dress. It's amazing. This is, um, I don't know. Well, it is cohesive, but... I think Jamie looks amazing. Her she, her face, her makeup is underappreciated. She's stunning. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the the outfit is very frumpy. I thought this was amazing. I really thought, I mean, I think, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I think this is amazing. I think this could be the winner, right? To me. What do you think? Chelsea boy? Yeah. You don't like it? I'm a little disappointed because it's a copy of the same dress with another color. That's why I'm not that impressed. But isn't that what it's supposed to be? Like a mirror image? No, no, it, it, no not a mirror image. Oh. It should be cohesive, but not. Now this is amazing to me. I love this. This to me should be the clear winner. Oh, this is so cute. I love this so much. Oh, it's, it's wonderful. Thank you all for your looks of the runway. Okay. Extra thank you all for all your partners, because you must have to do it. Hans, was dit voor jou Let's om dit samen here. met Mama Queen? Ja. Yeah. Nou, een geweldige ervaring. Papa, zie ik nou een traantje? Aww. She's crying. It's... Nou, ik, uh, ik weet wat, uh, wat Dennis door zijn, Mama Queen, door zijn uh, geaardheid... Dat hij daar heel veel negatieve reacties krijgt. En. Uh, nou, dat. Zo so sad that this still needs to happen. Dat is pijn. 
2020. Yeah. But I've never seen such a moment on Drag Race where everybody's crying. Mm -hmm. And for good reason. It's just so touching and so important what's happening here. And even Nikki Blessing is crying. Mm -hmm. I have to admit, I teared up too. Yeah, me too. Me too. And you know I'm a hard dyke, but I do too. Yeah, me too. Well, not a dyke, but I'm... Well, only when you drink. Show emotions. When you drink. Yeah. See, this is why I watch Drag Race, because the show is so cheesy and bad in many ways. But what it does for the community is just... Huge. And this is such a good example of that. Because it's it's teaching people. It's helping. It's helping society move on and, and move along. I, I think it's so big. And, yeah. Hoe was het voor jou? Ik vond het gewoon heel fijn om uh, Chelsea te mogen supporten. Mooi om te zien. Yeah, I think this look is just ja, too much of a ja, ik ging hier literal aan. copy in Mars another text. color. Yeah, I'm see, a little pointed. No, he, he, my wife filter. said the same thing, but I, I don't have an eye for fashion, so I, I definitely defer to you. But I, to me, it just looked like it, it matched well, but uh, I'm clearly in the minority. I, I, my winner's Mama Queen, but I, I, but I think I think Envy and Mama, Mama Envy did great too, but I just thought, I mean, I think there's no way they can win again. You have to give it to somebody else. So, who do you think... Politics aside, who do you think won this runway? Well, I... I think Mama should win, but that yeah. might be politics as well. Yeah. But Envy did really good too. Yeah. Because it's humor and it's... Yeah. I was kind of disappointed in the, the other three sets. Yeah, me too. But, but come on, making your father pregnant? It's so fucking, I mean, talk about, it, it's so amazing. Mm -hmm. That's just, I mean, they're just pushing and pushing. What Mama Queen does is amazing to me. Yeah. I mean, I just love her from the start when she did that thing with Mother Mary on, you know, the multiple mm -hmm. costumes. I don't care that she dropped her crown. I just think she's so, she always yeah, tries to do a lot. Yeah. She should be. That's good, right? She said, You can speak Dutch to me, bitch. Yeah. That's great. My mom uh, worked in a store and she tried in her best English to explain uh, yeah. whatever to someone, and the, the, the person said, Sorry, I don't speak Dutch. <laughs> and she was in her best English. So oh, this reminded me of that. Oh. Oh, she was speaking English, and, and the customer yeah. said, I don't speak Dutch. That's funny. Your mother sounds fun. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one sister, younger sister. Oh, okay. She is taller, though. I've seen her on now. Instagram, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, not a lot of photos with her, but yeah. yeah. I mean, I've seen her name. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, wait, that would be... Oh, no, that, I don't remember. Or are you talking about uh, my niece? Yeah, I don't want to say because I don't want to give people's names out, but because it's also Duke's name, so maybe it's not your your sister. Never mind, you can tell me later. Oh, sister, probably. Oh, it's his sister. Yeah. Never mind. His, the brothers are so gorgeous. I mean... Oh. Yeah. I like how uh, Abby rubbed her tit. Yeah. And it's so sweet. Again, you know, I've been talking about Mama Queen and her father, but this relationship is also amazing. Yes. Where, you know, the, the younger brother talks about how Abby brought him to school and... 
He doesn't give a shit. Well, He's very proud of him. Yeah. Sees through all the, the sort of homophobia nonsense. Just like, I'm so proud of my brother for doing this. It's great. I mean, this is what... Again, this is moving society along by giving examples that you don't need to be hate gay people or trans people to be a man. In fact, the opposite. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I had friends that wouldn't want to wear pink. And I'm so glad uh, Duke Slurie loves pink or loves to wear pink because it looks so good on him. Well, in the 80s, I don't know, you were probably too young, but in the 80s, pink was, everybody wore pink. Because the pink polo shirts were big. Or maybe that was oh, yeah. Uh, R- Richard was thrown out with his pink polo shirt uh, of uh, Universal, but it said "fuck Barbie," so maybe that was. Oh, I remember that shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that might have been the "fuck Barbie," not the pink. <laughs> or the puta madre that was on the back. <laughs> oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> that was the brand. The puta oh, madre. okay. <laughs> Hans. Hans. Yeah, I'm going to turn it on. Oh, I'm going to tear up again. What you have to do is to get so far. And I find it also very hard that you make all your clothes yourself. And for me, you're the biggest. Let's go. I like that he mentions that he makes his own clothes, so it's not all just. Yeah. You know. Superstar. You have the talent in house, you have the passion in house, you have the creativity in house. And you have to laugh on your own vision here to let us in. The problem is it's really hard to compete when your best friend is on there when somebody's got their father and their brother and their mother. You know what I mean? Like, it's they sh- I, I, couldn't they have found some blood relative? Yeah. That's too bad. Nobody else had a best friend, right? No, it's all family, right. except for yeah. It's kind of a disadvantage, I think. Yeah. It's not his I missed, fault. I kind of missed it. If, is there family? Or is there no family that supports right. Chelsea? And not, not everybody wants to be on TV. Of so. course, of course. Especially in drag. Mm. I really, you can tell Envy's mother is a very strong person, you know. Coming all the way from Peru to Amsterdam, that's a story, right? To go that far and start a new life and and learn Dutch and support your kid. I mean, so much. Well, immigrating in general, you have the expats that move from the U.S. to the Netherlands because they got a job here. But moving there without a job, without any knowledge of what the future will hold is, yeah. Since That's pretty the, badass, I think. Yeah. If not any, I think this motivates parents You're as much as it motivates it. drag queens. You know. you <laughs> like, look at how far your kids can go if you support them. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's, it's amazing. Because that's what they all... Mm. A lot of these people have in common. The ones that do very well, they tend to have very strong parental... I don't know. Background. Guidance. Yeah. Maybe I'm just full of shit. I don't know. <laughs> Well, I am. Oh, let's take a drink, girl. Oh, my God. Come by me, sit before that your water breaks. What'd she say? Your water's gonna break? Yeah. Is that what she said? Uh, yeah. <laughs> take a seat before your Oh, my your God, water Mama's. Breaks. Did you see Papa Queen's yeah. vagina was showing? Did you see that? That was Mama Queen. No, it was Papa Queen. Oh. Grandma Queen. Oh. Her vagina no, was short. Ma- no, that's Mama, because Mama is wearing the short uh, dress. Oh, that was Mama's vagina? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, if you want to see a Dad's uh, vagina, so, it might take a while. Dad's vagina? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was Papa, Grandpapa Queen's vagina. I got a little turned on by that. Oh. It's so good. This Dutch show has really come along. I think after uh, you, the U.S. version, this is the best. Well, I would say it's better, but I'm, I, you know how I feel about 
RuPaul. And I'm sick of her. <laughs> you are going to be less cunty today. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So it also it, it doesn't just touch the audience. It also touches the other competitors because. Right. And Janie's really yeah. opening up now. Like, oh, I miss my, you know, because she doesn't have a father. Her father died three years ago. Yeah. So that's uh, yeah. the same kind of goes for Envy Peru. Cause, oh, or are they in? Yeah, they're contact. separated. <laughs> yeah, they're in contact but separated. Yeah. And it might be uh, or it, with traditional thinking, it is harder on dads in the first place because you're always been taught to be a certain way when yeah. you're. Of an older generation, so it's yeah, I can see that it's rough to know you're done in, uh, dressing up as a woman. It is natuurlijk heel erg mooi om te zien dat die vader daarin meegaat en dat hij zich zo openstelt. Maar ik had toch nog Now this, are, is she serious? She would rather have seen a birth, or she's just joking? Meh. Yeah. Like seriously, uh, you're gonna get here. that's not enough. Uh, yeah, it's so nitpicking. Does the coat really not match the shoes? I don't understand fashion. I think how I don't understand the judges sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Was it the best look of the evening? I mean, nee, Chelsea boy. So it wasn't the best look, they said. Yeah. Well, I don't agree. But there's issues with Envy and her mother, too. I mean, there's something... Like, I thought when they first come out with the llama, that looked like they're wearing diapers in a way. I mean, I honestly, I mean, if we're going to be that picky... But they were fashionable diapers because yeah. alpacas are very on trend. That's true. <laughs> okay, well, I agree with them on Chelsea and, and, and um, yeah. after what you said, and I agree with um, Janie. But yeah, so look, like if you look at the way that, that it is around their legs, it's 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 not that great. It is a diaper. Yeah, it looks like a diaper. And that's the second time Envy's worn a diaper, so let's be real. Oh, true. Oh, yeah. So. Miss Abby, oh my God. And was she wearing the same necklace that? Uh, yes. Yeah. The same necklace that Abby wore. Yeah. Like the necklace times. is getting around. Mm -hmm. Like get rid of this thing. <laughs> oh, look at that ass. Who is Frederick von Leatheret? What does that mean? I have no clue. <laughs> You're about as Dutch as I am, except you speak yeah. Dutch. <laughs> yeah. When it gum, comes to Dutch pop culture, I'm not that good, I guess. <laughs> Still there. Bring back my girls. That's just so much better than RuPaul. I, I can't help it. I have to say it again. Yeah, I love Fred, so yeah. Afgelopen weken stond je telkens weer in de lip sync battle. Vandaag heb ik je voor het eerst zien strijden. Maar is het goed genoeg? Ja, dat is goed genoeg. It was. Abby, je bent door. I don't door. think it was. I don't get that. And okay. Peru. I th thought it was uh, Geniaal, the runway. Samen not the best cosplay. Sterke right. look. Okay, here we go. Mooi om te zien Andy dat er zoveel liefde is tussen jou en je moeder. Maar het doet me pijn oh, om te vertellen. En look how proud our mom is. Van de yeah. bent. Gefeliciteerd, lieve schat. Ik sta echt letterlijk met een She always looks so surprised. Like, like she, I think even Envy says, why am I winning again? Mm. Like, are you serious? Er staan nog drie prachtige queens She's like, I'm just trying to be safe. Mama Queen, <laughs> that is the mini challenge where she for me down. Now, Mama, I, Mama, Mama Queen should have won. So much. Ma, the only reason not to win is because her, her the Mama shoes didn't mooie. match. Mm. Why are and they the, so and critical? The coats, right? And the white, the coats. Yeah, they didn't like the coats. I think. Oh. This week, we found it a bit. She makes them her fucking self. What the fuck do they want? Yeah. They're pregnant. Your father, pre you got your father <laughs> to come out pregnant, <laughs> and that's not good enough. And Envy's mother wore a diaper, so did she. No, uh uh. I love Envy. She's great, and she will win it, but it's too much. I have a lot of quality, but she's now on TikTok, and that's very good. 
I didn't look at Reddit, but I imagine they're pissed. Oh, Reddit has been bitching about everything, everything. concerning the judging. Yeah. Especially since last week. Yeah. I was cool with the judging until last week, and then it got weird. Yeah. Well, yeah. They're just so. Fred did, Fred did say something about it, though, on uh, Instagram. But he just reposted what Mama Queen said, didn't he? No, no, he, uh, he, uh, I think I reposted it in the stories. Oh, I didn't see. What was the gist of it? Well, that uh, it's hard to say goodbye to anybody in general because he loves them all. Mm. Uh, but regarding uh, the non-binary uh, yeah. discussion that came uh, about uh, since mm. last week, um, I can't really remember what he said, but uh, that it wasn't, uh, the, the judges weren't uh, doing that out of uh, spite or whatever. Of course it's, not. Uh, and he, he didn't like that they uh, got so much grief over it. Oh. Now here, um, Chelsea is um, just overdoing it. This whole episode, she's totally overdoing it, and I don't understand what happened. Like she's she's freaking out. No, but she also forgot the her lines. I think. Oh, is that it? Oh. Yeah, she said, "Oh, them." I forgot my line. But. Um, Janie's doing very well. She's doing a, you know, a typical kind of country style dance. Yeah. I don't know what you call it, a two step or something, but she's doing good. And she I, I love great. this song, and I love Dolly Parton. Oh, so me too. Awesome. You know, I saw Dolly Parton in like the '70s at a rodeo oh. in Indiana. She was just phenomenal. One of the best performers I've ever seen live. Amazing. Yeah. And so tiny. And she's so cute. Yeah. Mm. She's like a little doll. So much energy. I love her. Well, and Chelsea lost her wig. That never yeah. uh, wins points. <laughs> right, that horrible duct tape. Yeah. <laughs> I have never used duct tape on my wig, but I don't know what, what that's for. Does that just keep no, the wig cap on? I've never used duct tape either, anywhere. <laughs> well, not on my body anyway. Yeah. And Mama Queen always looks so serious with her pregnant belly. <laughs> <laughs> so Janie stays. Uh, Chelsea goes. No. Yeah. Well, it's going to be harder every time now because they're all awesome. Well, and I think that's that's hard on yeah. this season too for me anyway. Normally in the there's always one or two queens that I don't really like because they have a shitty attitude but most of these girls are amazing well i think part of the problem here is that um maybe it's the dutch thing where you have to be as honest as possible but i think in this case maybe the judges are being too honest with envy peru you you have to make this a competition when yeah. envy wins four four competitions in a row there's no competition and this is a competition show mama queen should have won this and maybe yeah. even if they don't think she deserved to win which i do they should have given it to her anyway because other it's just there's no competition. We all know Envy's yeah. going to win. <clears throat> and so, last week, definitely, uh, Chelsea Boy should have won. Oh, absolutely. Now, absolutely. Because uh, not that Envy looked bad. She looked gorgeous, but it was so... Predictable. Yeah. It was safe. It was totally yeah. safe. Yeah. yeah. And her last week. Yeah. yeah. It was just safe. Oh... I'm really disappointed that Chelsea Boy is out. I was really looking forward to uh, the other looks. But most of the queens share their other looks on Instagram. Yeah. So uh, I'm uh, hopeful well, she will do the thing is, like, something about this show doesn't... There's a problem with drag... It doesn't allow the queens to be their best selves. Like, we know Chelsea has a lot more in her than what we saw in this show, because we've seen her Instagram. Same with Sedergine. We know Sedergine has so much comedy, so much personality. We didn't get to see her strongest suit for Sedergine, mm -hmm. which is her personality. Because well, it wasn't, yeah. Well, she could have, she did herself a disservice with the Mega Mindy. 
Yeah. Can I get an amen up in here? That's true. You're right. But like Patty Pam Pam, I love her concepts and mm. uh, the, the the detailed outfits she makes. And Megan is well. You you kind of didn't see the the, the funny Megan really well, except for the the workout video. So th- yeah, right. And you maybe it has yeah. to do with how short uh, the episodes are too. And too. I think and I think it's overproduced, which is why I prefer yeah. the. Yeah. Um, which is why I prefer the the documentary format, mm-hmm. like like when the the God Save the Queens or whatever it's called, the one the documentary that yeah. they do on Wow Presents. Because yeah. I just want I, I rather I wish they would switch the show to documentary format because we just don't get to see enough of these queens. Their person, their real personality. Yeah, it's all about drag race and it's the structure. I mean, we can those stupid RuPaul riddles. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, it's so dumb. Yeah, we can do without those. But also, if you in the American version, you have uh, Untucked, right. so that helps a lot on yeah. uh, building the the personalities of the queens. Yeah, and it looks like next week is going to be a Rusical. And oh, I, yeah, Rusical. I hate Rusicals because yeah, they, and they're so little people. Yeah, yeah, right. The Rusicals are horrible because, in my opinion, <laughs> like because they um they they're just bad. I mean, like I the idea of it isn't bad, but they have these like professional like singers. I don't know who they are making these voiceover. Oh, Why, yeah. Instead of letting the queens sing for themselves and maybe not so good, it's just like so overproduced and terrible. I I, I, don't, I don't get musicals at all. I think something's just weird there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, well, sometimes. Well, if there are good, if there are really funny queens that do them, they can yeah. be really funny though. But a lot of the time, it's um, yeah, a little too. I don't know. Produced. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to have like uh let the let the queens talk. Let the queens be themselves, you know. Don't control them so much. Don't I think that's one problem I have by overproduced. I I mean not just that the show is structured and edited and the lighting is very strong and it's very artificial, but it's also the way that everything is so overly structured in in what they say, you know, they have these skits and they have outlines and they have scripts. Just let that stuff Mm -hmm. go and let these Queens be themselves and let's see what they are because they're, they're brilliant. They've been working at this for years. They've been developing characters and looks let, let them be themselves. The show feels the show doesn't have to control everything. It's like, yeah. Let it let it just be, and uh, that's what I wish. Yeah, but I, that's the mm. same with the uh, kind of not really off topic topic, but a little. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've got the uh, real uh, real housewife shows and stuff, and I was recently watching, um, and they say that that it's not scripted, which it obviously is. Yeah. But anyway, there was a uh, uh, there's a, an American football player i think brady uh, Tom Bradshaw? Brady. i don't know anyway he's really old currently and he is in yeah. uh Tom brady. anyway mm-hmm. and it's called the brady bunch uh-huh. or something anyway uh there was a uh a, a scene where uh the grandchild uh, uh was saying something and you and the grandma is in the back or the the, the kid is on the, her lap and she uh, mouths the the words the, the kid says. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, it's not scripted. <laughs> right. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> I, you know, my friend Tam on Tam, he tried to get me to watch Real Housewives. I just, I tried watching Real Housewives in New York. She says the best one. But like, I, I don't know. I know people who are actual housewives of New York, like that are, uh, you know, in, in the Upper East Side. That, yeah. that, nobody would be on a TV show. None of them. They wouldn't do that. Like, that's the opposite. Like, that's not real housewives at all. That's just real tacky people who want to be on TV yeah. and are desperate mm-hmm. for attention and maybe yeah. are whores. I mean, but I think you would like the uh, real housewives of New Jersey more. Because really? it's, it's, <laughs> it's amazing. What about Rotterdam? Is there a Rotterdam one yet? No. There, there's not a Dutch one. No, there needs to be. I would watch the shit out of that. 
But we did get a lot of, because uh, I asked a question on Instagram yeah. now that we're, we have some free time. Uh, and we always forget to mention that you can find us at uh, Overhaul oh, yes. on you. Instagram. <laughs> Yeah, we don't promote ourselves very often, do we? Yeah, Overhoard on Instagram. Check it out. Uh, Fashion Slurry has been doing a great job of uh, making pretty things. Uh, Aw, thank you. Beautiful posts and stories and quizzes and whatnot, and it's, it's wonderful. And we, I think we just crossed, uh, what was it, 17,000 followers? Uh, <laughs> 17 million. Million, billion, zillion. Yeah. We're the first oh. Instagram account to have a zillion followers. Exactly. Which I don't know how that happens because there's not that even there's not even a zillion people alive on the planet. Well, but there are people with multiple accounts, so it could. That's you don't true. Know. You never know. A lot. If everybody in China had like you know a million accounts, we might be able to. <laughs> <laughs> Which is possible. But I did ask a question: what mm. people would like to see on uh, our Insta more, and there was. Uh, suggestions that oh. there should be more drag, but there was also, um, I, what was her name again? Let me see if I can find her. Uh, and I don't know if she wants to be mentioned, but she is G D girl X J D girl X uh -huh. on, uh, Instagram. And she follows us and she interacts with us a oh, lot wow. and she loves petty Pam Pam, which I totally understand and she's not uh, she she's also not you. said something <laughs> huh what and she's not you she's not me no 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 no, <laughs> no she's not me <laughs> but she said something about that we need to uh have more people respond to our reviews i think but i don't really understand how we could do that what do you mean people respond uh, to our reviews what which reviews that we do in the podcast. Oh, okay. But I don't really know how. She, but that's not up to us. That's up to the fans, right? Is that what yeah, she means? Yeah, but you do have the voicemail thingy, right? Oh, Where yeah. You can, can call firm uterus. We'd love feedback. I, I mean, okay. If you want feedback, there's lots of first. First of all, you can always go to our Instagram and write a note there. We'll definitely see it, which is over horde. Um, you can go to, you can call, but it's a U.S. number. The number is firm uterus. You just spell it out. It's like plus, it's a U.S. code plus one and then firm uterus. Leave a voicemail, we'll get it. Um, and you can email an MP3 to bloatedlesbian at gmail.com. And we can get an MP3 for comments that way. Or a video. Oh, yeah. I mean, send me a link to a video. You know, you can do anything. What else? Twitter, overhoard on Twitter. Uh, mm -hmm. certainly we'll see that as well. So you can record a video on Twitter and just add us. Uh, there's so many different ways. Uh, we'll play yes. it. You know, you can say anything awful. You can say how much you hate us. I don't give a shit. We love feedback. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we might delete you. No. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no, we'll just, cr we'll just cry and delete ourselves. <laughs> we'll, delete our, we'll delete our accounts. <laughs> delete my account. Ich will mein Snoopies ja. eten. Will je Snoopies eten? Wat voor Snoopies heb je dan? Uh, uh, zwart, uh, rond, zwe drop? How do you say sweet? Ja, yeah, dropjes. Dropjes. How do you say uh, sweet? Zout? Zout. Zout. Zout drop. Ik heb hem in mijn microphone box. Shh. Oh. Oké. Okay. <laughs> And the wife isn't there, so she cannot... Nee. So he's neat here. Gisteravond. Ah, zij was slapen. Ik was, uh -huh. ik was eten. I don't know if I'm saying mm -hmm. that. Please correct me. Oh, you're doing good. I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But I was afraid she would smell. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like I was afraid. Like she'd be like, "What's that smell?" <laughs> Well, it is a very distinct scent, I guess. Licorice. Mm -hmm. Oh. I can't, I can't eat Engelsprecher <laughs> on that I will oh. lauster naar uh, oh. dit <laughs> <Okay>. met haar. <laughs> Oops. Oops. 
Oké, okay, dus we kunnen het niet in het Engels doen, omdat mm. anders uh, je yeah. yeah. lovely, lovely uh, yeah. mm. vrouw. <laughs> vrouw? Trouw? Vrouw. Je vrouw. vrouw. <laughs> je wederhelft. Mm-hmm. Je echtgenote. <laughs> Couture. <laughs> Stink wife. Those are your words. Stink Those wife. are your words. <laughs> Soepkut. <laughs> <laughs> Soepkut. <laughs> ja. <laughs> Oh, let's go. Oh, it's not Soup good. Nice. That's bad. My favorite Dutch insult isn't even a real word. Super good. Soup good. Uh, soup kip. They, they, if you are not that quick with it, they mm. call you soup kip. Or if you do something dumb, soup kip. But it's chicken. Chicken soup. <laughs> Sorry, I was playing the Kleine Crocodile song to keep myself amused. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think Satergina has joined us now. Hello. Satergina? Hello. Hi. Oh, it hey. worked. We made it work, finally. It's a miracle. Hello, here we are. So. Yes. We're so glad to have you. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm, uh, I'm honored. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm starstruck. I don't know how much I can speak because I'm so excited to have you on the show. Um, so I'll let, uh, I'll let um, um, Fashion Slurry, I almost forgot my co-host's name. I'm so excited. Uh, do the introductions. <laughs> the Forspiel. Is that right? Oh, yeah. So, so I'm going to tell everybody that I'm very excited, or we are very excited, to have Setter Jean on the show. Sadly, okay. we had to say goodbye to her last, last uh, episode of uh, Drag Race Holland. That was bullshit. But yeah. we've got her. Hey, I'm here. Yes. I'm, I'm, you know, it is what it is. You're playing a game, and mm-hmm. um, this is what happened. Do I agree? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, mm-hmm. But am I still proud that I was in the show? And am I proud of myself and thankful for the chance that I have for sure? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, well, how many people get a chance to do what you did in the first place? Um, well, yeah, I mean, know. we're the only. So I think every girl that has walked into the workroom of Drag Race uh, anywhere around the world, there is so many other drag, ra- uh, drag queens that, that want to. It's like a dream for every drag yes. queen to be on Drag Race. And um, I'm the I'm the very first Belgium one ever on Drag Race, so I was so so pleased and thankful. <laughs> yeah, and you were a great addition to all, all the girls that were there. Uh-oh. And yeah, I I kind of I talked to Match about this uh, just a little earlier that it's so hard because I think all the girls are awesome on uh, the Dutch uh, version. Uh, normally, when when uh, when I watch the U.S. version, the or, the, or, the original one, uh, there's always one or two girls that I kind of don't like because they're either stuck up or whatever. Yeah, but these girls are amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, it's the, we have a big drag scene in Europe in general, and um, we, we get the chance because I don't think in America as well, of course, but. Um, I think Belgium and Holland, we have like a lot of full-time drag queens, you know, and mm-hmm. I think they they got us all together for the very first season. But then you have like, yeah, of course, a high level of, of drag queens because um, it, it's it's one one chance in your life um, that that you have the chance to show to show the world what you what you got. Mm-hmm. Uh, although I'm dreaming of all stars right now. <laughs> <laughs> are they going to have an All-Stars? How are they going to do that? Or there's no idea? Like, are they going to do All-Stars Europe? There is, or? there is no idea. But I oh. saw some rumors. They, uh, Mamaru is maybe working on an international uh, All-Stars. That would be good. So Canada, Holland, uh, maybe Thailand, and, and America and the UK together. I think and, so. uh, If she would call me for that, I, I'll be packing right now. <laughs> oh, you'd be you'd be great on that. Your English is excellent because I noticed you yeah. you throw in a lot of English more than other queens into your stuff. And also, I think it would be 
I think it needs to be international because the last the last All Stars was as dry as a mummy. It was just like they they're they're at the bottom of the barrel with these queens from season one. And yeah. I, oh, oh no. yeah. Well, I, I I haven't seen it yet, so oh, don't okay. tell me. I, I won't tell you. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm just. It's just great. <laughs> it's great to see San- Shangela finally win. But uh, I, oops. <laughs> but oops, that might be a little too much of a hint. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I lo- I love your look not only because you're you're very funny, but you also uh, you portray an older woman. And as an older woman myself, I certainly appreciate that. Is it true that people when because I know you're only like 26, right? In real life, yeah. I just uh, I I, I well, I'm I'm 27 now. I'm my birthday was in September, so yeah, still uh, I'm paying myself older than I am. Yeah. So <laughs> you and people often think you really are in your like 50s. Oh yes, but as a boy, I have uh, I have the same thing going on. Not maybe fifty, but some people say like I'm halfway in my thirties mm. or uh, beginning that or the end in my thirties, the ending of the th- the thirtier years. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I'm still tw- I'm I'm, tw- I'm in my twenties. But I think if you paint yourself a little bit older and you do like all the dance moves, then they're like, oh my god, that old bitch is still working it up. You know? <laughs> So you always have a step forward, you know, for for that for those things. If I'm doing a choreography, the people in the audience are like, "Wow!" And you're kind of. <laughs> and like... now that you mention it, because mm-hmm. uh, I thought you and Madge could have been twins, and yeah. we all already shared that on our uh, Instagram. <laughs> but uh, are you? Uh, no, we're not. I don't think we really are. But I saw the pictures, and it's true, though. It's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I see some similar things and always the pictures with the open mouth. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Your, your pictures from the, um, with the baby carriage and the close up where you're making that funny face. I, I just love it. I love For me, it's all about facial expressions and you have those down. I don't know why you didn't win that one. That was just fucking nuts. Oh to me. yeah. Yeah. You, you look, yeah, well, you look we amazing. You look again. You look but like, I think if the judges had the chance to do it all over again, maybe they would have done it differently. They you know? they would have. But you you looked like my grandmother used to live in the Bronx, a Jewish Russian immigrant, and you looked okay. like her. You looked like my grandmother's living room in that outfit. You know, she had these little <laughs> sconces on the room. piano <laughs> with the little things dangling off of it. You just you had you embodied the this whole you know old woman. It, what you look like an old woman's living room i've never seen anything like it <laughs> well thank you so many people come up to me and you're like oh my god you look like an aunt of me oh my god you look like my granny it's aunt. great right it's so fun because I, I always said uh when i was young like oh i would i don't know if you know but lilia marlene um, of course it's that's the time where i would yeah. have lived in just like fashion wise mm-hmm. and like appreciating the, the the small thing more the small things in life uh so that would totally have been a time where i would have lived in you know so where did you where did Sedergin come from the character did she does she come from people you know in real life like mothers uh you know relatives it's a mix or? of everything i know i do i do sedergin for almost 10 years 11 mm-hmm. years now so every year you feel and like you're 26 I'm, holy shit 27 yeah i start when i was 15 oh wow so Amazing. um yeah and and it, it, sedergin is a is a is a, a a mix of 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 everything things i see in life and that i add to my uh character but also um like Sometimes I change my makeup, but not that much. Now it's more polished because I really was like, okay, I have to step my pussy up to go on drag race. <laughs> so I'm painting the, the the same face, but like trying to make it more polished. Normally, I b- before I only used um, uh, one color of foundation, and now I'm all into fading and 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 uh, blending uh, and blending and all those things. Yeah, all that. Uh, so. She, she became more fashionable, maybe, but still fashionable and and hip and uh, hip. Yeah. Yeah. But I I try to uh, I try to stay true to my character. You know, I, I I've been traveling around the world, and sometimes it's funny if I if I'm in the in the regular of the Wasstadt in Amsterdam performing, <laughs> people will come up to me and say like, "Oh my God, Sedergin, is that you uh, from Mykonos or from Gran Canaria? Oh, wow, from Russia." So it's so funny because I. I think my characters needs to stay uh, recognizable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, you need to do a show in Puerto Vallarta. You know, they have a lot of drag queens. I like to go down there. They have a lot of drag queens like Coco per- Coco Peru and yeah, you know, all the all the like old school drag queens do perform there. You would be great in a little cabaret show there. Do you do any like stage shows and written sort of performance and scripted stuff too, or what? what yeah, 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 yeah. I do? have my own production shows. Mm-hmm. Uh, twice a year, I do a production show that I made by myself, and then I. Wow. Um, invite my my good uh drag friends uh so we we got together and then we we have a big production show and i work in a cabaret in antwerp oh. it's a dinner show uh for almost uh yeah almost nine years now and it's on every friday and saturday and it's like a i don't know if you know lips yeah i do sure yeah, yeah it's a similar kind of thing uh-huh. um but uh, it's yeah, it's a little bit more Moulin Rouge and wow. Lido de Paris, yeah. and but I'm nice. I'm I'm doing the comedy things there. So you have all yeah. these beautiful girls with the feathers, and then you have uh, yeah, clown Sergio. Oh, how wonderful! <laughs> you know, it's 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 really a shame because we don't really get. We were just talking about that. We don't really on Drag Race is so produced that we get such a a, a carefully molded view of what of what you drag queens are that we don't really get to see the full queen i would i really would love to see you know what you really can do on stage maybe after pandemic we fashion slurry and i can come over and see you in antwerp oh yeah I or i that. come to you uh to to you guys because yeah i'm so ready to travel i no, i used to try i i used to take more planes than than caps oh. <laughs> um, and, and and i'm so depressed by sitting in my house and oh like, yeah uh, can I leave? Can I do something? Where where is not a red colored country where oh, I can yeah. go? Yeah, but because yeah, it's can. just got really serious again in Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And for so for Be- but do you live in Antwerp or do you live in Amsterdam right now? I live in between. I do fifty okay. percent of the time in Antwerp and fifty percent of the time in uh, Amsterdam because I work in the weekends. I have the cabaret show here and uh, my oh. regular shows. And then in uh, in Amsterdam, which is actually for drag queens more busy during the week. Huh. Oh, um, so I've got oh my because p- of tourists probably. Yeah, because the tourism doesn't stop there. So yeah. during the week they need more drag queens than they do in the weekend because in the weekend oh. it's it's busy anyway. So that's convenient, actually. Yeah. So I'm I'm traveling in between all the time. Yeah, but yeah, traveling is a little hard. But uh, talking about all the countries you've been, you uh, uh, you already mentioned you've been to Russia, but isn't that um, kind of controversial? Or I wouldn't necessarily have the balls to go to <laughs> Russia. I think, especially uh, as a drag queen. Well, you know, I was I was very um, the first time they asked me to go to Moscow to perform. I was I have to say I was a bit scared. Like, oh my god, I've got two luggages. Uh, one with man clothes and mm-hmm. one with the drag clothes, of course, and it goes all into a scanner. So you never know what they're going to say about it. Yeah. But then when I got there, the the the, the disco where I needed to perform was a, a five uh, level high disco. Oh. Uh, a gay a, a gay disco. So I was so impressed. They had go go oh, boys. Yeah. They had a gay sauna. They what? Had, like the theater disco in Moscow. It's, in that Moscow, is that no mind blowing. See, we get so, so much propaganda here. You, it, it mm-hmm. makes it sound like if you go to Russia and you're gay, you get shot. You know? Yeah, yeah. and it's not true because I asked them there, oh like, how is it be to live here as a drag queen to be gay? And they said, like, it, it's a way of 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 uh, knowing, you know. But it's not allowed to kiss on the street or holding hands. But it's mm. not allowed for straight people either. Oh. And so the streets is just to go is just made to go from A to B. And um uh, and so they, it's, it's, yeah. a, it's a different way of living, but they, they're like we're we're happy and we have what we want. We they have gay discos. They, I mean they have a gay sauna, so I think yeah, yeah, as long as you're not too progressive on the streets, then it's all fine. But you don't have to be progressive as a as a, a straight couple as well, because then they will find you. Uh uh-huh. So, so kind of love is like uh, censored on the streets. Yeah. Yeah. Also, um, I was like, um, 
oh my god nobody really small uh, smiles to me uh, in the supermarket or when you go into the metro and they open the door for you and they, they hold the door for you right. and normally we would give a little smile you know mm -hmm. and their opinion is like no you don't really smile to strange people because a smile is something that it's one of the most beautiful things a person can show to anybody so you only show it to your true friends or to people that you really love. That's funny because when I lived in when I lived in Paris, people told me don't smile for to strangers because they'll think you're crazy. Yeah, the same thing happened <laughs> right? in in, uh, in in Russia. Yeah. Oh, that's so wow. interesting. Yeah. Thanks for this insight. But they yeah. didn't. So you get your you go through uh, the X ray and they see the heels. They see, but they don't give a shit, right? No, no, no. I had to stand mm. with my two bags, and then there was a, a woman poker faced with a dog yeah. walking around my luggage. And I was Ooh. like, oh my God, oh my God, here we go. Here <laughs> we go. And um, then she said, like, okay, go. And I was like, yes, I did it. And then uh, right after Mo Moscow and um, St. Petersburg last time, I had to fly to Swiss. And mm -hmm. um, in the airport in Switzerland, they would. They made a problem of me having two luggages, one boy oh. clothes and one drag clothes. Oh. And I was like, guys, because they thought this it wasn't my yours. profession. This is my job, you know? Yeah. And I would, I would, I, I just arrived. And for me, it was funny because I just arrived from Russia and then going to Switzerland where everything is like LGBTQ plus and mm -hmm. they're really, uh, it's a really open minded country and they made trouble in the fucking airport in Swiss. Yeah, but the border <laughs> patrol in, in Switzerland is horrible yeah it so, is. yeah, yeah it, and it doesn't have to do with anything in the country but it has to do with uh yeah. well kind of because they're so serious on uh importing stuff and shit you know what that's this, why they're so horrible you know what this reminds me of i used to work in the gay porn industry setter gene and i was a videographer and a director and i would travel with these porn stars all over the world and, you know, I worked in what they call thug porn, which is basically black men, and they have giant penises. And they're, <laughs> so I would travel with these, with these models, and their dicks were so big that they would stop them after the x ray because they thought they had guns hiding in their pants. <laughs> Ow! It was insane. No! <laughs> I'm totally, it was crazy. Like some of them would get Shut checked up. every time. Well, I mean, we're, these were not normal penises, they're huge. <laughs> But speaking, I would, love, you, yeah. I would love to travel with them. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's quite an experience. It really. But so you've had you've become quite the sex symbol as a as a boy too, right? Since your drag. Oh my race. God, yeah, that was you know uh, the, the first when uh, when everything got released from Drag Race Holland, they um they uh they sent me like, oh my God, you're the trade, you're the trade. Yeah, I had to call a friend, and I'm like, oh my God, they're all sending trade to me. Is that a good or a bad thing? Trade is what good. Is Trade is good. <laughs> so, and then my friend said, I think you're fine. Um, <laughs> yeah. Trade is a good thing. Yeah. So, and, and yeah, I've got a lot of messages from guys Ooh. who would like to date with me. And I would totally uh, love to date with all of them because I'm so hungry for love, as I told in the show. But for <laughs> now, it's just a bad moment to date guys, you know, but, but are uh, you still single? Yeah, it's so it's, 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 it's a, a big compliment to me and it's an achievement to, to, to get all these compliments because I was a big guy. I used to be, yeah. uh, uh, 118 kilos in the translation mm -hmm. in the subtitles. They say one, uh, one, yeah, 180. <laughs> it's another person. I'm like, Oh my God, this is a little bit too much. But it's one one eight, and I used to. That oh was my weight, so. yeah, okay, yeah. So if for me it was like uh, it was yeah, it was overwhelming to <laughs> to be a, a, a sort of uh, sex symbol in the show. Yeah. The show, yeah. <laughs> well, my my wife thinks you're the bee's knees. She's just very hot for you. So, but did you? Yeah, to me, it seems like it was you and Abby were the trade of the season. So you get one if you like the skinny minis. And one of you, like, you know, the bigger gal. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, Abby is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. twink, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I used to, when I, when I met Abby for the first time, I was like, oh, my God, so sexy. So sexy. But then I got to know her a little bit better, and I'm like, no, better, and I'm like, no. Yeah, maybe not so much. <laughs> yeah, there seemed to be a little tension between you uh, girls on the show. 
especially with yeah, the wave. You know, yeah. As I told on but I was with you with the wave because that wave didn't say, please go a uh, step aside because I'm dying. It said, move the fuck over. <laughs> that, that's yes, what it said and, to me. <laughs> you know, if I see something like this, I'd like to, I'd like to talk with the, uh, uh, the person in, in, uh, in person with, with, uh, with what I've seen, and I was like, Abby, this is not really, really nice. No. And that was off stage, backstage. There were no cameras. They also took our uh, our microphones off everything. It was uh-huh. the end of the day. It was a wrap. And then she got so crazy that all the cameramen, all the straight men were about to go to their wife and children. <laughs> and then somebody must have heard it. And they're like, oh, grab your cameras. There is a yeah. fight, you know? Um <laughs> But That's... you know, it's, it's she's she has a temperament, a Brazilian temperament, which mm-hmm. I really, really adore. Uh, but she made it such a big thing that they put the cameras on it, and I was like, oh. My God! Just because I said like I don't think that's really really nice, you know. But so that 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 episode confused me, and I don't know if it was the editing or what. But I understand why you got upset with her because she gave you the 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 sort of waving you off. But why was she mad at you? Like, did you react in some way that they didn't show? Because that's what I didn't understand. Like, what made her so angry? Well, the, the fact that she just got out of the bottom and that I pointed uh, with somebody did something that I saw, I pointed on her like, hey, this was not nice. And that was the only thing that happened. Well, what's the but big yeah, deal? You, know, she, you didn't uh, call her a name or call her a, a stink waffle or whatever it is. A stink white? A stink, stink waffle? No. Well, I don't uh, know. What no, uh, no, I'm not I, Dutch. I just said like, this is not nice what you have done. Yeah. Um, but anyways, I know, I, I understand her reaction because she was like, oh my God, I was... I was in the bottom two, so it was one on two to go home. And then you have another bitch who was in, in the top four times, by the way, um, uh, <laughs> right. uh, saying like, this is not a nice move that yeah. you did. But, yeah. you know, that's the way I am. If I see, because I was on the other side, you, if you see back to the episode, I, it was not even to me. It was to the others, to the right side of the stage. And I was uh-huh. on the left side, but I just saw it. And I was yeah. like, make Let's make her a tenth of it that that it's uh, that it's not nice. Yeah, hmm. that's but weird. That work. Yeah, well, that that made some good television, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't I didn't think she would last this long because usually when they have somebody that's acting that crazy, they don't last long, you know. But I guess no. Yeah. I think the crazy ones last long, but it's the pretty ones that rely on pretty that don't last long. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if you're making good television, why should they leave? Yeah. Right. Should they send you home because you, yeah, you are making dramas and making the fights, you know? And I think we were all a little bit more uh, friendly than maybe in other versions or, uh, yeah. of, because we know each other. And many people think, um, like, uh, we don't know each other or we traveled from all, all the country and come to the workroom. Uh, like in America, they come from all over the country and uh, they ha- never have seen each other before. But for yeah. us, it's like, Okay, we were very excited to see who was walking into the workroom, but most of them we knew and or had seen before because Belgium and Holland isn't that big. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Yeah, and uh, I guess only Room was the one that not everybody was familiar with. Mainly yeah, because Room she isn't in the in the uh, uh, whatever uh, met optreders. Was Jackie yeah, your? She's be- fr- is Jackie your best friend on the show? That's the impression I'm getting. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's uh, she's uh, one of my best friends I mean, for, from the show for sure because we have done uh, a season. In, I took her with me to Mykonos because they were looking for uh, a dancing queen uh-huh. and uh, a pretty one. So I said, like, hey, let's go to Mykonos for a season, and she agreed. So we went to Mykonos, and we got to know each other very, very well because we used to live together there, and. Oh. Um, so she's she's yeah she was one of my best friends in the in in the season and the mama queen i knew but i think the only two that i didn't know was room and um and chelsea boy the rest i had heard of or worked together with you know okay in the past but uh janie yeah she's my very i'm i'm yeah i have to say i'm totally uh team janie because yeah. she's so straightforward she's beautiful she has a lot of humor i think she has a little bit of a bitch at it but if yeah. you really know her, you know uh, that it's that is just her honest opinion on everything, yeah. and, and I love that. You know, if you have people that are talking through your mouth or they say things mm-hmm. you want to hear, mm-hmm. you're like, 
uh, yeah, you're not going to learn from that, you know? And that, that's it, what I was discussing with, uh, with uh, Madge, because uh, yeah. I think maybe the first or the second episode, uh, Madge was like, she's quite a bitch. And I was like, no, would you want friends that tell you the truth or kiss your ass and don't yeah. grow from that? Yeah. And, and I think I, it's Dutch and maybe even uh, in this case, a Belgian thing to be just say what you think. Yeah, because then you know. Yeah. Uh, I used to, when I do a new uh, comedy act and my mom is in the audience or my mom works in the cabaret where I'm, uh, where I'm performing every weekend. Um, and then I do a new number or a new act and I'm like, hey, mom, what did you think of from it? And then most of the time she says like, oh, my God, it's nice and this. And I'm mom. It's the first time I performed this, this, this act. So there must be something <laughs> yeah. you didn't like. And then she says, like, and then she comes up, like, yeah, maybe you should say, change that, or maybe you have to think a little bit more about that. So I'm, I'm, I'm really screening my friends and pushing my family to tell me the honest what, truth. What does your mom? Do, what does your mom do at the cabaret? You say she works there. Yeah, she uh, is the. Uh, she make she cooks the food. Oh, and oh, that's she's, nice. uh, she's a nurse during the week, but we she got oh, wow. uh, she works in the weekend in the cabaret together with her wife. And I'm working her there, wife. So it's like a, a family, a family thing. <laughs> so your mother's a lesbian. Yeah. My mom oh, is a lesbian. Like me. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that's wonderful. So maybe we could get to get, well, she's already married. We could have a thruple though. Cause you know, I'm probably her age. <laughs> um, but so if you had been on this episode, who would your twin have been? Would it have been your mother? You think my mom? Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. Because oh. so we, we have been, through so many things in life that I would have uh, shared with the world. Oh. Uh, we came out of the closet together. Oh, my uh, God. Really? Wow. Yes. Uh, so I was about to do my coming out, and then my mom was just one day before me, I guess. She was like, uh, yeah, hey, uh, Serge, let me tell you something. I think I, uh, I'm in love with a, with a woman. And I was Aww. like, okay, that's very easy. Let's, let's do a coming out together. Oh, my <laughs> God. That's, that's incredible. So sweet. I've never heard. Yeah, of a little bit thing. shocking for my dad, you know. He was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> were they married? Were they still married?" No, 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 oh. no. <laughs> because that would be awkward a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that wasn't. The, oh my. The case. So and, uh, yeah. uh, uh, the big topic on the episode we saw today was that uh, uh, Mama Queen had her dad uh, as one of the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. People to um, make into drag. How would your your father be with that? Uh, I think my father would have done it for me. Uh, he would totally. He's like he's standing behind everything that Serge or, or Serge does. So oh, I think cool. if I would ask him, he would maybe think about it. But I'm sure in the end, he would have said yes to me. Um, but you know, it's for a, for a, for a dad to do that. I mean. Even Mama's uh, Mama Queen, her father. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, 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 it's a lot of. Um, you need a lot of um, confidence to do that mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the day after they air the episode, you have to go back to your friends, go to the bar, and see your maybe not so open-minded friend. Yeah. So I think that's a big, it's huge. A big, and a, and a, it was so beautiful to see it yeah. and cry. Yeah, Did, me too. <laughs> who who do you think should have won the episode ye that yesterday? Excuse me. Who do you think should have won? Do you agree with the winner, or do you think somebody uh, else should win? No, the the winner was Envy Peru. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, that was beautiful and all polished. But I think um, they're looking too much to beauty things yeah. and to all this. I mean, I would. Yeah, I I would maybe have said Janie because I think Janie uh, really crowned her mom on stage and she was like it was not a similar costume she made her mom really shine yeah mm -hmm. uh, uh, but also Envy did I think in this episode is maybe very very difficult mm -hmm. to send somebody home or either make choose a winner right um, uh, uh, but Mama uh, I think Mama Queen uh, and Janie's uh, story were the most impressive for me. Yes. True. And how, yeah. Uh, yeah. how they affected each other. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you see Janie's mom really talking to mama's father, like having yeah. a little conversation and getting... So uh, yeah, yeah. It was really, really cool. Uh, yeah. 
and then I'm very sad, but by the way, that Chelsea boy had to leave yeah. because I, um, yeah. Um, yeah, my opinions are different, you know, about uh, about many of the episodes. Well, what did, uh, what did I you think? think? I, I never really, really agreed with the uh, with the judges. What, well, what, neither did we. <laughs> what, did, what did you think about last week's episode? Because that was very controversial with the gender bending thing and yeah. Mama Queen's inter and Chelsea Boy's interpretation versus the in traditional interpretation. What did you think about? Yeah, that? and I was like, this is so out of the box and. Uh, this is really who they are, you know. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. I, we were there, and it it went on for a little bit longer, but they didn't. And of course, it's edited. Um, mm -hmm. But I would, if I feel like okay, this is a conversation that I can't hold, or I don't know where I'm talking about, I either gonna shut my mouth or gonna mm -hmm. ask more information. But they did ask more information about it, and then broke it down all the way again i was like what are you yeah. doing <laughs> well like that, that Nikki. was kind of what 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 got me a little annoyed let's call it annoyed yeah uh especially with carlo bosshart uh yeah. he was mama explained why there wasn't a, a mill side to her mm -hmm. and then he was more kind of like well that's all fine but it's still like blah 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 and i'm like what? And they said, you have you to tell us. Either. It's perfectly obvious. Both him and Chelsea, yeah. to me, were very obvious. And Nikki's like, oh, well, I couldn't see that you were blending the genders. How could you not see it? I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't see how you could not see that. Maybe this is somebody who doesn't even go to an art museum. Because that's what yeah. art is. You have to interpret it mm. for yourself. Yeah, you don't get I it explained to you. Yeah. For me, uh, Carlo Bossart, Bossart, Bossart. Yeah, um, <laughs> was was yeah i think the worst judge uh mm -hmm. till now for me and it surprised me and because well he's gay he he's lgbtq so i would have it surprised me that he was so dismissive of, of what uh, mama queen was saying yeah but also you sh i mean if you uh go you 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 uh walk on a path that you that you don't know, just either step away from it or get really into it. Yeah. And that's yeah. something they didn't do. And I'm like, yeah. yeah, you maybe should have done that. Then the show would have teached you something, but now yeah. you didn't. So I want to Fred I, did, I, you know? did do a beautiful, uh, uh, he did something uh, in his stories about what happened and uh, how his view was on what happened. Uh, I think that was good. But still, the dismissal from Carlo and Ruth a, a bit about yeah. Yeah. well. Anyway, let's let's talk about something fun. I want to know, yeah. I want to know about yeah. your name. So I'm curious. It took me a long time to figure out when we first did the preview. We were like, "What is that name?" Seder is like a Jewish meal, and Jean is like vagina. So I thought you were saying like Jewish vagina or something. And then I found oh, out Seder no. Seder uh, Jean my, is a my, yeah. My drag name, uh, it's, it's uh, a name that I got from my colleagues in the cabaret because it is in Belgium uh, a medicine for a headache. <laughs> <laughs> and how, do, how does that relate to you? Like, do you take people's because headaches I'm away? Because I'm so loud and so energetic <laughs> all the time in the dressing room right before showtime. If they call a showtime, five minutes to showtime, I start screaming and like, yeah! <laughs> Girl, come on, wake up, five minutes, yee, let's do this, er. I'm like, none, I, because I need to fuck myself up to feel the adrenaline yeah. going through my uh, right. through my body, and um, yeah, that's why they give me that name. <laughs> so you're the, you're the, you're the disease and the cure, you're, you're the headache, <laughs> and you're the solution, which is the medicine, right? Yes. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Where do yeah, we learn? So, if I want to see more strategy and I want to see the real, the whole thing, everything you can do, how do I, how do I do that? Like, how do uh, I? You see can more follow me on Instagram. I will post every uh, week what I should have done on the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, for now, I'm working on. Uh, I've got my little parody on girls just want to have fun that is coming out oh. in a few weeks. Uh, a few weeks, a few days. I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, I, I would say follow me on Instagram because Cedar Jean is not done yet. I'm working on a Christmas album. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh my goodness! So I'm doing a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm I'm, uh, I'm 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 keep on being creative keep on during quarantine, and um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. 
<laughs> so do you have like a YouTube channel so we can watch some of your, do you have your cabaret shows online anywhere? Can we watch any of that? Yes, Sedergin has a has a YouTube channel, because, oh, but I still need to upload a lot of uh, videos. But why? That, I I always put mostly of the time I put teasers online. Uh huh. Uh, to just uh yeah uh yeah, get people to come my, to the show. My work. Yeah. P people yeah. are yeah. thirsty for you. We need more Sedergin. We want to see more Sedergin. <laughs> you got to give well, us. Let me tell you, babe. As soon as I can move. I will make sure I'm going to do a tour in the USA. Oh, yes. And, um, and tour around the world. I mean, I've got so many plane, tic uh, 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 plane tickets that are. Yeah, if, if that you I go own. to Chicago, I need to know because then I'll uh, go visit Match and see you. Oh, we yeah. Can... Great. I can't wait. Chicago, I've never been. I uh, love it. Sure that's on my list. But uh, as, I, as I say, I've, I have so many vouchers for plane flights. <laughs> uh, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you come over. My uh, I, uh, my wife is Peruvian. She'll make you a delicious Peruvian meal. You and Fashion Slurry come over, and then we're right in the gay neighborhood. In fact, we're right down the street from the bathhouse, and if you're lucky, it'll be open by then. Not that you oh, would go. Oh, yes. Oh, I, <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, you love it. Get laid. Uh-huh, get laid. You'll be so popular. Late and I can't wait. <laughs> Superstar center gene at the bathhouse. They'll sell so many admissions that day. <laughs> my God. Do you do shows there oh too? God. You'd be like Bette Midler. She used to do shows at Bath House. You know, that's how she got oh, really? started. You really? Yeah, she and Barry oh. Manilow used to perform at the Baths in New York City. That's how they got started, both of them. Oh, oh. Wow. yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I didn't know about that. I should go and perform in Bath Houses. Absolutely. <laughs> you can do all kinds of performances. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> or well. twink, twink. Listen, thank you. Swing, swing. <laughs> thank you so much for having you on the show. It's just meant so much to us and to our yeah. fan, singular. Oh, and yeah. Our one fan that listens. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> thank you for having me, guys. I'm going to. I'm gonna listen to it again for sure. Okay, good. <laughs> Yay! Then we have two listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! Well, uh, and the pet chicken. I have a pet chicken that's gonna listen. Oh yeah, true. Popcorn, yeah. True. yeah so if that counts. <laughs> All right, you're so much fun, guys. <laughs> thank you so much. Good luck with you. Thank you so much for your time, and we love you, and we can't wait to see more. I mm -hmm. I hope to see you soon. Take care of yourselves and be safe, and uh, let's keep in touch with each other. Absolutely. Yes, please. Absolutely. Thank okay, you. bye bye. 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 <laughs> Dark Scott. I forgot to Dark Scott her. Oh, yeah. Dark Scott. Who cares? All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to play the theme. Are we done? I guess we're done. This show's just yeah. get, getting longer. It's like my regular show. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, well, it's Fashion Slurry. We've got two more episodes to go. I'm very, uh, it's, it's been quite a ride. And remember, you can uh, uh, find us over Horde on Instagram or Twitter. And please reply. Uh, send us feedback. We'd love to hear it. Your feedback. Yeah, can I add one more thing? Because no. also with the feedback we got, no, we can't. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Um, because we're doing the Dutch v version, uh, I was wondering maybe because we don't, we are not too familiar besides the Queens that are on, uh, Drag Race Holland with the Dutch scene. Uh, I wanted to kind of put, uh, Dutch Queens in a spotlight that aren't on the show. So oh. if you know a fantastic Dutch queen, uh, please let us know so we can uh, look them up on Instagram or whatever. And we can uh, put them in the spotlight and uh, keep the ball rolling with um, the Dutch queens. That's a great idea. That's so well. if you know of Dutch queens and just put it in an Instagram, tag them, uh, let us know, and we'll we'll do that. That's that's a fantastic idea. Okay. So I'm I'm glad you let me say something. You're allowed. <laughs> okay, now you can. Ikvilman, cut it. It's, I have to go. Ikvilman's Snoopy is eight. Uh, Mir. Yeah, eat smakelijk. <laughs> Geniet van je snoepjes. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your new 12-inch phone, fashion. Oh story. yeah. Oh, I almost forgot about. That. I want to hear about the. I want to see what the video looks like. I hear it's amazing. I, I will share, definitely. Nothing porno though. <laughs> no, that's fine. Okay, see you okay. next time. Bye bye. Thanks, guys.